right now our composer has installed everything we need to install so it is time to test our laravel application and the way to test it is you simply type from your command line make sure that you have uh, you are inside the, your laravel folder you type php artisan serve hit enter and then wait so it has started a server php server for us to see and that server is at localhost uh, and 88,000, all right? You can type 127.0.0.1 or you type localhost colon 8,000. So let's go to a browser. Uh, you might see something like this. Um, just check from your antivirus. As you can see, my antivirus is stopping my server.php. Now look at where server.php is. Server.php is a file that comes here, comes with Laravel here, but my antivirus has removed it thinking that it's a virus that is trying to run a server uh, without my notice so i have to enable it i'll click on this click on create exception and then the exception has been created if you don't do this your server will not run and you will not know why it did not run okay so if we check here again you see server.php has returned my, my antivirus has released the file so the file is now present here so every time you run, uh, you run localhost. Let me type localhost colon eight thousand. As you can see, localhost colon eight thousand. Hit enter. So every time you do that, uh, as you can see, it's running now. We have to run that that server again. Remember that the antivirus hijacked it. So I'm gonna click Control C. If you press Control or Command C on your keyboard, it's gonna uh, create cancel the previous server that is running and create a new interface for you to write again. So I'll, pre play, I'll press the top arrow on my keyboard to get the last um, command I ran and hit enter. It has started again and now uh, we can come here and refresh, reload and um, we're getting 500 internal server error and one of the reasons we're getting it is probably because some other server is running on my system let me figure that out okay the first a big challenge that we have is that we're supposed to actually enable a certain file inside laravel so let us go and open our laravel app with um, your editor anything you use to write code all right is your editor for me i'm using something called vs code so if I right click on any folder, it's going to show me the option to open with VS Code. Uh, you could be using Sublime Text or PHP Storm or whatever else. But uh, in case you just need to use what I'm using, go to your browser and type download VS Code. All right. So once you type it, you will see that VS Code is available free on Google. See, code.visual studio. You go there, download it for any of the systems you're using. All right just get there and download now um you see it is there just choose the one you're supposed to uh use now if you go to the folder right click and click on um open with vs code it will open this folder the whole folder there with vs code make sure that this is dragged down and uh, so that there will be space on this root folder you'll see that there is a file called env.env example remember that this folder is the same with this folder look at it side by side you see that I have app bootstrap app bootstrap whatever whatever vendor you see so this is the file I want to edit so it is called env.example so what you're gonna do is right click and rename you can't rename it from here because uh, your your computer will not allow you to rename files that start with a dot so you have to rename it from your text editor so rename here I'll remove the dot example so it is going to stop at dot env hit enter and there we are so I click OK and good so now we are here it has been enabled so with default settings and all so I'm just going to click save okay I'll control s on my keyboard to make sure it is saved so if I come to my browser again and I open the server error page this is my laravel page right click and um it's telling me oops encryption key has been specified no encryption key has been specified so laravel always wants your laravel installation to be unique to any other laravel installation so right there in your encryption key in right there in your env file laravel puts something called encryption key 
look at it as is just um as is uh, empty so let's generate a unique laravel key from our command prompt so from this command prompt if i zoom in uh, so usually when you're de developing your Laravel app, you need two command prompts that are open from the same folder. The reason is that one of them will be running your server permanently and the other will be for running commands. So I'm going to go to the uh, Laravel folder, right click and uh, git bash here. And then we have this. I'll expand it so that you can see. Hold my shift key, not shift, my control key on my keyboard and zoom in. That's how you expand the font of this. And now... I can simply run php artisan key colon generate. So this will generate a new key for us. Keep your eye here as a new key is generated. Hit enter. So it's going to generate a key. And as you can see, it has added this key here. Very unique key. I'll click control S and save. So it is saved now. Now, uh, another thing we need to do is to come here and reload. Boom. We have our first laravel application and remember we've not done anything but this application has created a login for us and um, a sign up system and uh, look at this forgot password if i click on forgot password it takes me to forgot password page beautiful if i go back click on uh, register new membership it takes me to sign up page beautiful okay so this is just awesome now in the next video we're going to look at what the structure of the laravel application looks like and then uh, we'll go ahead to explore what infoem came with so you can understand what the uh, infoem came with and then we can configure our database so that our laravel app will connect to our database see you in the next video